This is going to be my YouTube tutorial on a Lonnie Johnson turnaround. Um, and the turnaround that you heard at the very beginning of this video um, can be heard in quite a few uh, Lonnie Johnson tunes. Now for a long time it did uh, kind of mystify me on where he placed it and how he put it together. Um, and in some of those tunes trying to understand the uh, song form is a little uh, nebulous. Like it feels like it could be a 12 bar blues, it could be an 8 bar, and then he uh, inserts this turnaround, sometimes at will. So he kind of uh, creates his compositions on the spot. Um, but one thing that I think would be useful for all of us is how we can be able to harvest the idea and be able to use it into our daily blues uh, playing. Um, originally, I saw this turnaround, I believe, in the key of E flat. Um, I moved it up to the key of E. And how I'll explain it is as a one six two five turnaround, useful in an eight bar blues. So if I kind of define the form, I have one bar of E, one bar of E7, one bar of A, one bar of A minor, and then I'll be having a split bar of the one, the six, and the two, and the five. And so one to six, two, five, one. Now if I play this as a sock rhythm, this eight bar will sound something like this. So now we know how the form kind of works out. Um, let's talk about how we'll put this one six two five uh, in there. So it's not any surprise how uh, much Lonnie uses diminished um, chords, and and this is no different in how he's going to be voicing his six and his five chord. So we'll begin with an A formation E, and I'm going to be slide into the three and the five. Now that'll take care of our one, two beats. Maybe anticipating just a little bit. Now by raising the E up a semitone, that's gonna be voicing our six chord. Um, so it could be either an E7 flat nine, minus the seven on the top, but I have the flat nine, the three and the five. But we also have three notes of a C sharp chord. We have the three, five, and flat seven. So one, and that'll get us our sixth chord. Now the two is gonna be a dominant. So we're gonna be moving from the root of our C sharp. So our C sharp. And what I'm playing here is gonna be um, our uh, F sharp um, seventh chord. So we have this nice voice leading coming from the C sharp. And then we're going to be playing as our five a B7 flat nine chord. So here's a B7, right? Add that flat nine on the top. Now to get back to the one, we have plenty of uh, options. Now what I do is hit the open E. So we get this. And then I'm on the E chord. Now what's kind of nice is to play some sort of ascending or descending uh, movement from E to E, almost like a turnaround. Uh, we see often with going. And that puts us in line for like a B7, like a G structure B or A, whatever you want to call that. 
and that will encompass the um, last uh, few bars of our of our song right here. So we have. And so I think it's a handy one to use, and I think it'll be um, easy to use um, in any eight bar form. So just as you realize that it's a one, six, two, five, and it's loosely fitting over two bars. Um, um, most of the time I hear Lonnie playing the idea, he's almost playing a very rubato um, in, uh, you know, in a solo performance, kind of pushing and pulling the time. But I think would be able to, um, you know, tighten it up and make it fit uh, in a band context. So again, Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I can't wait till uh, next month and uh, um, get some more out on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to uh, um, subscribe to my page if you like what you see, and uh, everybody take care and stay safe.